Hello YouTube, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, did you know I have enough subscribers to fill a jumbo jet? Just kidding, there's so many amazing YouTubers out there. I just really appreciate that you're sticking with me and I'm finally ready to upload tons of great tutorials like this. Please subscribe and like and leave me a comment if you ever are interested in signing up or become on the Patreon. Don't worry, I don't have any pages right now. I just want you to know that it's been kind of hard to get paid on YouTube, so it was really discouraging. If you like and support my channel, definitely comment and that will pull it through. So um, today I just want to quickly talk about how to convert between a tensor in PyTorch to a NumPy array uh, and the array and vice versa, and show you a couple of things that may happen when you do so. First of all, um, a privacy deep learning, federated learning libraries. Don't worry about that right now. Um, so I have a test list, which I'm going to convert to an, a NumPy in the array. And if I check the type, um, as you can see, there's no no surprise here. Um, it is a NumPy in the array. Um, and then when I want to convert it to a torch ready tensor, torch tensor, um, it's very simple. All you do is just call the from NumPy function and you put into the uh, in the array variable that you want to convert. But what, what is really, really interesting is that when you um, print out the type as well as the size of, you notice that the the tensor is going to be slightly smaller than the in the array. Um, that is pretty interesting, probably has something to do with the amount of API and behavior it can do. Um, not quite sure, but um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I think while it is very, very easy to convert between torch to tensor, uh, sorry, tensor to numpy array and numpy array back to tensor, um, the the issue is, um, you know, it is, mm, I think the API name is slightly not so intuitive, you know, like, yes, it's great, mm, you know, from numpy, okay, I get it, um, I get a tensor back. But it's not very clear I get a tensor back, you know what I mean? It is a short name, but it somehow, personally, it's been confusing for me. And then to NumPy, this is slightly easier. Um, you know, this, um, well, actually, it doesn't say to NumPy. That, that's what I guess I would expect. Um, so, so you can see that the API kind of confuses me a little bit here. Um, and that's okay. The, the reason why we get this error is we be, because we already converted it to, um, in the array, so it doesn't need to be converted again. So if I run here, and it is in the array, um, and then I convert it to tensor, and so now test is tensor, and then now I can convert it back to in the array. But if I run this out of order, it's gonna throw a couple of errors. Uh, so that's really that simple. Um, please subscribe and like and comment and you know just a quick reference video. It's not gonna be really monetized for a while. I'm just gonna be here for reference for a quick check because I don't think it's very clear on Google search and Stack Overflow for now.